In this lecture, I will show you how to set up a load balancer for your first app. In real world scenario, you need to be able to access the app from outside the cluster. On AWS, you can easily add an external load balancer. This AWS load balancer will route the traffic to the correct pod in Kubernetes. There are other solutions for other cloud providers that don't have a load balancer. Like you can run your own HA proxy or Nginx load balancer in front of your cluster. Or you can expose ports directly. In this lecture, I will show you how to do it with AWS. The first app that we launched, you can see the YAML file on the left. It is just going to run the pod with the Kubernetes demo, which just returns hello world on port 3000. This is the pod definition. On the right, we have the service definition and the service definition is going to put a load balancer in front of our pod so that our pod can be accessed from the internet. This service has type load balancer. And when you specify this type load balancer on AWS, it will start an AWS ELB, an elastic load balancer, which is a service that Amazon provides. This service is defined in a YAML file, but earlier when we were using Minikube, then we were using the command kubectl expose, and that also creates a service. We just don't define it in a YAML file. Here, we define our service in a YAML file and then submit it to the cluster. It's basically the same thing. Whatever you do with kubectl, you can also put in YAML files. So this YAML file is of kind service. It has a name, hello world service, and it also has a spec. I will go over the spec in detail in the demo. For now, just remember that you can have different services. This service is of type load balancer and will run an ELB. If you run this pod and this service, you could then point a host name like example.com to the ELB to reach your pod from the internet. So this is the way to make your application available to the internet. I will show you all the details in the next demo.